Hello, beautiful people. I'm with my cousin. Introduce yourself. My name is Emily. So today we're going to be reading crazy Reddit stories and confessions, and let's get to it. Even honestly, I should just start now. If you're going to cheat, don't be fucking dumb and don't, because when you tell your partner that you've already cheated in the past and they haven't cheated, are you confessing to get the guilt off your chest or are you confessing because you really feel bad? ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? Porque como que ya no hay nada, hijos de puta. Yeah, just don't, don't pull a trust in. Literally. Well, ese güey como que cada rato, you know, mete la mala en cada hoyo, güey. Like, bitch, en todos hoyos, anda. Pausa. Se mete en todo hoyo. Woo! Okay, let's start. So this one says, it's called, is she gaslighting me or am I a psycho? Um, probably he's a psycho. Both. <laughs> okay, it says, hi guys, I'm dating with a girl. She's 24 female and I'm a 29 male. At the beginning, she told me she had never had a boyfriend. Everything was fun and so on. I don't know why guys get such a rush off being the first. Ridiculous. It's like they, they find girls who are so innocent. Like they get a thrill off that. Yeah, it's like kinda weird. Yeah, like sister ego because, bitch, men are weird. They are. After four days, mm -hmm. I invited her to a party. At the party, I noticed that she was start starting to eye my friend. And that, that staring was intense. That friend at the party is married and his wife is also enjoying the party. She also ignored me throughout the party. When I got nervous, I took her home from the party and told her that her behavior was disrespectful. So was it his girlfriend? Yeah. Oh. No, not really. I guess they were, okay, from this, they were, they had just went on four dates and he invited her to like a party. And first of all, you're a psychopath um, from the, what I read because why are you getting jealous because she's eyeing someone? Mm -hmm. And how do you, how was she eyeing him was like, and if the wife didn't notice it, then why are you making a big deal about it? Because women exactly. are always the first ones to notice. And our intuition is, is always there. Yeah. So maybe it was just like she probably saw him and then you're fucking crazy jealous and like, look, no. This is what I mean like by hurt people hurt people. Like before you're going to get into a relationship, if you had any kind of trauma like cheating or any, any other kind of trauma, you should always try to reach out for help and heal yourself before you cause another trauma to a different person. Exactly. Because this is a little bit ridiculous, but let me it's, continue. Yeah. Um, because my friend was at the party and they know that we were dating, but they're dating. They're not like together. Right. She told me that I'm crazy and I'm paranoid and I feel like she's using me only to have fun and take advantage of me. What do you guys think? Is she just a bitch or maybe manipulating me by gaslighting me technically or am I just paranoid? He's fucking paranoid. Bro, you're mad because she saw somebody at a party? She didn't even fucking do nothing. You're and, just getting in your head. And you guys are just dating. Am I not even together? I feel bad for this poor girl. And you're already feeling like, and you're already, first of all, he called her out her name by saying, is she just being a bitch? Like, sir, you need help. Let please. me see what the comments say. Okay, first of all, why are you name calling? Thank you. What is the, why is she name calling? You understand you both actually don't have respect for each other and you only dated her four times and she is showing her her, her, her true feelings who she really is. Just because she's pretty doesn't mean you ignore your gut feeling. You know what you saw and she is disrespectful. Okay, this has to be a guy. Right. Just dump her and block her and work on your on you. And it sounds like you don't know your worth and need to work on some issues. Ooh. And before you become a couple with someone, dump her, she does not respect you. And then the person replied, thank you for replying. Why do you think I don't know my self worth? Should I work on myself? They just said that, but you should. Honestly, it's just that it seems that you're putting all these ideas in your head that are not there. Maybe the girl is not even interested in you, but at the same time, just because she is conversating at a party doesn't mean she likes that dude. Maybe she was just, you know, being Am social. I not seeing something? Because the fucking comments, but I'm like, the comments are guy names. Um, but I can, mm. Are guys just insecure because this guy was like, she's just being a bitch. But I don't see how she's being a bitch. You think she's staring at someone? Why, like, I don't see the big deal about it. 
I don't and know. maybe she just felt a little bit uncomfortable because it doesn't say that she was having a good time and just as she was staring at someone and i know i do that because i'm awkward mm -hmm. especially if i'm out at a party i'm just like i she don't know probably what to just do shy and stuff she probably just you know mm. should we go to the next one a ver okay. más hay, qué más hay. okay let's see wife cheated at a bachelorette party fake friends exposed her okay but honestly i kind of like I don't see that being a fake friend because honestly and maybe i'm just biased but if one of my friends cheated on a really good guy and he's really amazing and he we, me and him are like good friends because once you introduce someone to me mm -hmm. i'm not going to be biased and if i feel like you're doing something disrespectful to like at your partner i'm going to tell you like hey stop yeah. and if i see you continue it um you continue it i'm going to tell your partner i feel like if i see my friends cheating i'm not saying shit I, I don't know. know because at the end of the day they're my friend not their partner i know but i just unless the guy is doing the same thing yeah maybe it's sometimes it's then better it's not different. to get involved because then they're still gonna stay together and then you're out of the picture as a friend that's fine i'll take myself out of the picture it's just like if yeah. like if they're both actually i've been in that situation i didn't say anything really exactly I didn't, Me too. I've been because, in a situation. I didn't say shit because I was like, look, this is going to get real messy. Plus, this dude's my friend. Not my business. Okay, so The truth story, always comes to light. Long story short, I used to have this friend. And we're going to call her Giselle. Giselle was dating um, Oliver for quite a bit since, like, oh. I think... I, you know them. Oh. You were at their apartment. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I know who you we were talking okay, about. Okay, so they had had um <laughs> they have had issues and she just said that she wasn't feeling connected and i would always be the one in between both of their issues like i don't know but why but they always came to me for things and i would try to play um both sides because i don't want to be biased and i would tell him like hey like she's just telling me she's feeling left out she feels like you guys are not communicating what's going on like she feels like you think that being a, a stay-at-home mother is not a good job or it's not a full-time job, you know, like they both were feeling like they weren't communicating properly and mm -hmm. things just got really out of hand. Anyways, they ended up breaking up, but they were still living together and co-parenting together until she could find her own place, blah, blah, blah. Didn't end up working out because she was talking to someone while they were still living together, but they were technically broken up. So me, I, I told her, hey, don't do it. And she's like, I just want to go on a date. I'm like, you just broke up with him like four days ago you need to take some time for yourself like don't do it and she went on a date with a guy and the guy was a total loser and i told her like he's just gonna use you for sex and then that's it and what ended up happening he just used her for sex he ended up getting a whole other girlfriend like a week later um it wasn't clear if he had been dating this girl already or not that and sucks. her um baby daddy ended up finding out and he confronted me. He's like, why didn't you tell me? I'm like, first of all, you guys were not together. Yeah, from what I understood. So it's not really cheating. And secondly, it's not my place to say. Like, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's like, she needs to communicate that he was not He me. was doing some stuff on the side, being shady, messaging females, and like, right. liking females' pictures. First of all, when you're in a relationship, you should ask each other what boundaries are. I don't yes. see anything bad in liking a girl's picture. Yeah, but the messaging is a little too The messaging much. is too much. It's a little um, too much sauce for me. I don't know. But yeah, let's go on to the next one. Last cheese move. And it was just ended up really bad because it just ended up really bad. And and then me personally, I, we were still friends. That's not the reason why we stopped being friends. We stopped being friends because I didn't know that they were talking about me behind my back on social media. And I don't have social media. Yeah. I just got my social media back. So it's like, why don't you communicate with me instead of posting about me? And that happened to me too recently with the yeah. friend on Twitter. Bitch, you know I don't have Twitter. I make Twitter. And then my cousin sends me all the tweets you've been talking about me. And I'm just like, bitch, you know I don't have Twitter. That's why you go to Twitter? What's, oh, that's funny. What's weird is that one of, the, uh, one of their friends ended up sending me the picture. And was like, hey, I think they're talking about you. And I was like, there's no way. And, and then, it was... It was yeah, you stand... La caca del pastel. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers is stupid. Okay, let's see. Like, bitch, Facebook's not your fucking diary. It's not your fucking therapist. Fuck. Okay, so this one's called, I think my partner is cheating. I'm a 23 male together with my 23 female. 
Uh, we've been together for 2.5 years. We lived together for about two years now. So they moved in together after five months. Um, and like 10 minutes ago, I saw a Tinder notification on her phone. Oh, child, that's that's where they start cheating. Like, fuck, the dating apps, bitch. And then the biggest hoe app on earth, fuck. She's like the most like less likely to cheat. I don't know what to do. Sounds like I go through. I sh I should I go through her phone, confront her. I need some help. We've had some breakouts, but we always grow and get our stuff together. Also, she's super dependent on me. That's that's the number one issue. I have different beliefs on what when I'm dating someone, it's different. But I'm not gonna get into that. For this, I would say if she's super dependent on you and you yeah. saw a Tinder notification, most likely she is cheating on you. Yeah, basically, because for one, why the fuck does she have Tinder if she's in a relationship with you? Especially That's if you what guys, they just said in the comments, too. Yeah, especially if you guys are monogamous. Like, what the fuck is going on? And you guys been living together? What the fuck do you mean if you should go through her phone? What's before? You already got your answer. It's like... You just want somebody to tell you, oh, no, you got to trust her. Like, no, you know your answer. Like, this bitch called Tinder account. Like, for what? <sighs> I guess. In you know the motherfucking lies a bitch girl say? I forgot to delete the phone off my app. I didn't even know it was in my phone. That's what, I, that's what I'm getting at from the comments. Because he, uh, someone said, why is, does she even have a Tinder account? If you guys are in a relationship to begin with. The guy said, we've been falling out lately and arguing a lot, um, but we've been, it's very controversial, but we've t talked it out and are trying to improve. Who okay. is trying to improve? Just you? Because what it sounds like is she's cheating on you. The Tinder, bro. why else would you have Tinder? Okay, so guess, okay, bro, he's fucking clueless or delusional because he's literally already justifying her. She already manipulated him that, that fucking quick. He's not ready to let go, but she's fine. I mean, but don't justify her. That's when you're going to literally everything that motherfucker does, you're just going to say, you're going to start justifying her without even asking her anymore. Like, you're just like blind at this point. That and too, like, if you're going to be with someone after they cheat on you, you have to be able to get over the fact that they cheated on you. True. Like, you can't bring it up every five seconds. Yeah. Well, you cheated on You got to just let it go. Yeah, let it go and rebuild the trust and stuff. But also, the other person needs to know that they can't just fucking take you for granted. They also need to know, like, hey, they forgave me. They were willing to forgive me. Let's work on this. I'm not going to cheat on them again. But usually, bitch, I feel like if they cheat on me once, they'll cheat on you twice. From experience, um, they mostly... 95% of the chance I'm going to say they always cheat again because they already cost the I was bargain. fucking oblivious. I was in love with this man and I went through his phone and the girl he so he was a dancer and um I would go make her dance. <laughs> I would go to his <laughs> like dance performances all the time and the bitch that he introduced me to as oh she's just like my sister, she's my best friend. Um, I want you to meet her. Let's say her name is Savannah. He's like, Emily, come meet Savannah. And I went to go shake this bitch's hand. So she knew of me. Of course. And... Those be the dirtiest ones. They were text sexting each other. Oh, and I am not the type of person to like go through your phone. Yeah. I never am. But that day I got super hungry. And this wasn't when I was still in college. I was super hungry and I had been studying two fucking weeks for this fucking big ass psychology exam i went downstairs and i was like i'm gonna make myself a sandwich i was at his mom's place keep in mind he's living with his mom when we're in college we're broke as fuck um i saw his phone and i was like something was telling me to look at his phone and i have never looked at his phone we were already together for a year i looked at his phone and i see her name and i was like why is there heart emojis on yeah. her name uh. i clicked on it and like they were sending each other all of these fucking pictures like she was like fucking nude, lingerie, like everything. Ah! Like, and I confronted him and I told him I had actually sent all the pictures to my phone, which I never have because I will never expose the girl because she owed me no loyalty. Yeah. Yes, she shook my hand. We never became friends. She yeah. owed me no loyalty to, to her. I never had any heart feelings to her. Like, yeah. bitches will be bitches, right? 
he is the one that should have been loyal to me. Exactly. He's the one that owed me respect. And after that, I'm fucking dumb. I forgave him and he did it again. It's the same thing happened to me where um, my ex, I was like, oh, we're going to get back together. Cool, you know. This motherfucker, bro. When we had been on and off, he had gotten with this girl. And even though we got back together, I got on his messenger. The bitch was sending him videos of her twerking in lingerie. <laughs> and all this shit, like... Oh, you didn't tell me that one. Yeah, bitch. Like, good ass. And I saw it, and I was in the bathroom, and I had this Was this with Leprechaun? Yes. Bitch. I was literally, like, holding his phone, and I was like, bitch, what the fuck? Let me be friends with this bitch. Oh. And yeah. I became friends with her because low-key, I was like, she kind of fine. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get back at him by fucking her. But then I found out how she really was, and I'm like, I'm kind of turned off now. Let me stop. Like, let me stop. And we actually became really good friends, me and her. But then I kind of just saw, like, some shady shit in her part. So then I was like, I really can't be friends with you. And, you know, what's... You're what as fuck, because uh, I, would, I would not have been friends with her. Bro, it was crazy. That she really has a big ass obsession for it. he had been in my dms before i remember that shit way before i even knew that shit about her way before i knew about her obsession with him and i kind of like let her know like hey but i don't ever like him you know i kind of liked his brother but she was like oh okay like maybe we could date the brothers i'm like bitch no i don't like him that bad to date him like chill but she was literally like had a biggest obsession for this guy right and this guy kept trying to get at me still and I'm like, dude, you should get at my girl, low-key, like, you know, I was trying to put her on. Oh, I know who you're fucking yes. talking about now. And then this motherfucker- The jailbird guy? No, 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 no. Not him. She liked another guy. The one that was in the game. Oh, I thought you were okay. okay, no, the jail one, she dated him, but she still had the obsession for the other one. Look, that's why I couldn't like she her. She picked like, the wrong motherfuckers. Yes! That's why I couldn't really like her because I'm like, damn, bitch, you got too much going on. You got too many dudes. Like, I can't do this. At that point, she was the drama. <sighs> she was the problem. She was the problem. Like, okay, okay, so basically, this motherfucker hits me up and says, how the fuck are you friends with the bitch that fucked your ex? I'm like, damn, why you mad at me? Because I don't give a fuck. Like, bitch, the motherfucker was mad at me because I was friends. But the whole time, he fucking her. And he mad at me because I'm friends with her. I'm like, dude, I could be friends with whoever the fuck I want to be friends with. I'm not mad because the fucking leopard He's just mad because he became friends with her. Yeah, he was mad because I think he was trying to get at me, but he was mad that I was friends with her, but he was also mad because I never tried to get with him, and I was like his brother. I didn't like him, like, to date him, but I thought he was cute, you know? Bitch, that's what you call a score, because you wanted to make him upset. I was like, why the fuck you mad? Low-key, I'm just trying to, like... And then... Bitch, the leprechaun, I don't know if he knew that I became friends with that girl. I don't think he ever knew. I don't men think are, he knew. Men are kind men of are slow. stupid. And it was when I was just not, I was like, I haven't, I wasn't even talking to him for months. So I don't think he ever like found out, but I don't know. Okay, this one says how to repair the relationship. They're already starting off bad. Get fucking therapy if you're coming to fucking Reddit for this shit. Move. Let me not, let me stop. Because maybe these people don't got no friends and no family. Um, Fuck. My boyfriend cheated on me on a drunk one night stand. He was very upset and disappointed in himself. I really don't think he will do it again. It really shattered his perspective on himself and his character, and I don't think he wants to feel this bad again. I don't think he gives a fuck, but okay. I always thought I would never accept cheating in a relationship, but I didn't change how I feel about him. It did make me insecure about myself and our relationship, but I'm willing to work on it. For those of you who have been through this, and what are some things that helped you and your partner move forward to heal from this? Um, honestly, people are being really insensitive to this poor girl on here. Um, someone said, are you delusional? Like, if he did it once, he's going to do it again. Honestly, as a person who's been in this situation personally, and she's really in love, I think, yes, she if she wants to give it up she can't like she wants to end the relationship she can but she's asking for advice to keep this relationship i personally would say if you really feel like you're in that situation you're really in love with this person and he's swearing up and down he will never do it again why not give it another shot if you feel like it's not 
a break it or make it i almost feel so fucking bad saying it but as a person who's been in the situation i think for me to have moved on from this person i really needed to hate them completely and understand that I was never going to be the person for them because when I did walk away I ended up coming right back and the second the second time he cheated I never went back after that yeah and I think that helped me get over him and I feel like she's so in love that if she leaves now she's just going to end up coming back again or she's going to end up hating herself or not giving it another shot yeah honestly i feel like um you can go ahead and try and give it another chance and like see where it goes obviously it's not gonna be easy make sure to also know that you can't fucking hold it against him because you already decided to talk it out and work it out yeah so don't be bringing it up when, every time you're fucking mad because then you're just gonna oh, push him to fucking and don't be that fucking couple thing. don't be that fucking couple that shares their social media Oh, we only have one Facebook now, or one Instagram, oh, or just one Snapchat. So I can't. You are helping this man not cheat. That's not how you do that. No, bitch. He's probably just giving bitches his number, honestly. Yeah. No, they were okay. So the girl that I was talking about earlier, they were sharing everything, even a phone. Oh. Like, phone. don't do that. Like, it comes to the point where sometimes you just need to let that person go, mm -hmm. and sometimes. Women, I would want to say women more than men, try to, like, try to fix these people. You can't not fix these people. A motherfucker's gonna cheat if a motherfucker wanna cheat, and a motherfucker will find a way to cheat. At the grocery store, like, I when work. you least expect it. The motherfucker will be like, I'm working, well, fucking skip work to go cheat on your ass. You can't take a hold of nobody, you can't yep. control nobody, and you cannot keep nobody that don't want to be kept exactly it's just it's but it for is. her i would say give it another shot if it doesn't work out then at the end of the day you know that you gave it your all yeah okay and you never know maybe the motherfucker will never cheat again. like i said 95 percent of people will cheat again but maybe he's that five percent that won't cheat i should say 99 percent yeah 99 99.9 .9. he's at zero zero point one percent maybe. that might not cheat yeah exactly I think we'll just do a different video. Bye, Bye guys. Have a great day. Thank you guys for watching our debate. Let us know what you guys think and stuff like that. Yeah. This was mainly about like cheating. What do you guys think about cheaters? Do you think that they they will do it again? Yeah. Or do you think that people are willing to like Do you think people must be changed? Do you think or you think once a cheater, always a cheater? But you know what they also say on TikTok they say, Well, if you cut hair once, that don't make you a barber. I'm saying what I feel like people just become really good at hiding who they are, but that's just me being like I feel like there's a realist. Uh huh. I, but I also feel that people will cheat on one person, but they won't cheat on another. Sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I don't know. It's more. I guess it's per person. So tell me, tell us what you guys think, and if you guys want to see more video of us together, let us know. I'm let more than know. I actually happy love to help. this video because like I love giving people advice. I love reading stories, and I like choosing a little bitch. And we always For have real? like similar opinions or like total opposite opinions so yeah. it's actually really fun to yeah, it debate well let's go you guys have a good weekend bye